made our way through to Wellington and spent a few days with family who showed us around. First up was Te Papa. Te Papa is New Zealand's national museum. The name literally translates to Container of Treasures. It's a huge museum with more than 1.5 million people visiting here every year. Next up, Mount Victoria, but first we had to drive through the Mount Victoria Tunnel and toot. Tooting while driving through the tunnel is a tribute to a murdered teenager called Phyllis Simmons. The story goes that while the tunnel was being built in 1931, she was knocked unconscious with a pipe by her boyfriend, George Coates, who was a tunnel worker at the time. He then dumped her body in the soil, burying her alive. She was pregnant at the time. Mount Victoria's lookout is about 196 meters above the city, giving you stunning views over the city and harbor. Then there was the cable car. We took a historic trip on the Wellington cable car. This tram line opened for the first time in 1902. It's a five minute ride that rises 120 meters over a length of 612 meters up to the hills of Kelburn, overlooking the central city. Now off to the weather cave. The Weta Cave was a must-see for us. The front shop is quite small and showcases some props and models used in movies they have worked on. The attention to detail was astonishing. Next we went to Kaitoki Regional Park. This is where some scenes from Rivendell was shot in the Lord of the Rings movies. It doesn't look anything like it was in the movies, but there are some on-site information showing you what to look for. Here we are at Oareo Bay, a beautiful bay with a dark history. This is where the Oareo massacre of 1835 took place. More than 150 people were slaughtered to be eaten. This massacre also marked the last great slaughter of its kind.
things off, we just had to visit the chocolate fish. This is a well-known little gem of a cafe on the Miramar Peninsula. Here you can grab a hat, sunscreen and bask in the sun lying on bean bags. Join us in the next episode where we will be exploring Mount Rupayo.